Back to Kaiserreich, I go. Welcome to another video on my channel. This time I'll be playing in China and... <coughs> what? Guys, what the fuck happened to China? Country got more holes than a Swiss cheese. Anyways, today I'll be playing the Fengchun government and I will be trying to unify China through diplomacy and war. So let's head in. Alright, the Fengchun government. We have not really much troops. At least they are equipped, you know, better than other nations. I'm not gonna name names. But let's first set them up on a railway and train them to level 3. Anyways, let's look at the national spirits. We have backward industry. It increases the consumer goods a bit, uh, decreases a bit construction speed, decreases production efficiency cap by minus 5% and factory output by minus 10%. Then we have investment derf, which even further decreases our economy. It increases consumer goods and decreases construction speed a little bit. Then we have the Kwantung army, which gives us some very small army buffs, I guess. Planning speed and max planning, but just plus 5%. Then we have the Mantetsu influence, which looks good right now, but the more influence they have, the worse this national spirit gets. Right now it's giving us construction speed plus 7% and production efficiency cap plus 7%. Though this will increase or decrease depending on the influence of the Concordia Association in our government. Then we have regionalist sentiment, minus 15% war support. Warlord era inadequacies, which every nation in China has, and it basically debuffs their army massively. While it doesn't decrease an attack, it decreases defense and organization, which sucks, but also decreases recruitable population factor and daily command power multiplier, which is not good. Then we have divided governance. Political power gain minus 10%, recruitable population factor minus 10%, stability minus 20%, and war support minus 20%. We start with Zhang Xuelang, he gives us political power plus 15% and reduces stability by minus 5, but the positives outweigh the negatives. Let's look at the focus tree, which doesn't look that big, but it will take time to finish most of the focuses. And we can only start with preservation of the Xinhai revolution, which gives us plus 10 political power. Great focus. Let's first get better guns and increase our industrial capacity. In the decisions you can also see the influence of the various factions in the government and you can also increase some of the factions if you need to, but I would advise against this. It's a waste of political power in my opinion. Here we have the army reform, we also have the unequal treaties, which gives Japan almost half of our civilian industry. It makes all of our resources go to the market, which means we don't get any resources from our country and we do not have any industry to build anything. Then I shall put in this and try to get more artillery and more infantry equipment later. This is gonna be a problem because I cannot even buy any steel because I don't have any civilian factories because someone is stealing them. Rumors inside regionalist uproar. Rumors can be dangerous. Enrich the country, strengthen the army. China is finally divided. Which means the Jing government just lost all of their puppets. We must strengthen the army. Let us now suppress regionalist sentiment. An offer from the Kempaitai. Let's take the deal. This immediately completes one of the focuses required to get rid of regionalist sentiment. Let us justify mass arrests. And now we shall rearm the northeast. Agent Provocators in Action. The Harbin Riots. Good and bad. Mass arrests begin. Good riddance. Regionalist movement suppressed. Progress. Let's open the propaganda front. Let's denounce Qing monarchism and German imperialism. Let us now expand the Shenyang arsenal and also promote national irredentism. Do this and escalate the propaganda war. Some advisors also give influence and a small buff depending on which faction they support. Let's develop the three northeast provinces. Imperial theory. Let's expel their officers in retaliation and hope they don't declare war on us. Let us be diplomatic. Let's centralize the bank and try to get rid of our investment derf. Let us reintroduce the Fengchen dollar. Let's do the Grand Marshal's proclamation. The end of the investment shortage. Finally. Let's also do an infiltration. Best of luck to our brave soldiers. Preparations completed for the infiltration. Good news. 
First army reform done. Two more to go. Yay, Japan delivered equipment. Thank you very much. Let's begin the war of national reclamation because they're also justifying on me, so I guess I'm gonna justify on them now. They've also been in a constant war with Shanxi, meaning I might have an easier time. Though my template is not the best because I do not have any equipment for anything better. <laughs> of course, a counterfeit dollar spreads. So there are not many troops and I might try to get an encirclement on them. And Beijing has fallen and let's get the port so that they cannot escape. Uh, we are not bandits anymore. And there goes a huge amount of the Qing army. Goodbye. Let's also encircle those guys here now and maybe also encircle those guys. Let's get military access so my frontline doesn't get screwed up. Their army has completely disappeared now. I guess we can send invitations. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Why do you refuse? Come on. Yeah, that will do much for you. Let's invite the Federalists. They agreed to attend the Unification Conference. Victory in Wuhan. What a relief. And the Jing government capitulated. Uh, let's try and get as much land as possible and hope the Sichuan clique doesn't take that much. Well, they're already fighting me over some provinces, but I don't f yep, I don't think they can win. I got more points. I could fight them over this province now, which I'm gonna do because they did not accept my conference. And there we go. Delegates arrive. Welcome. Let's try and get the Federalists through diplomacy. I hope this works. From Beijing to the Begonia Li. National Reunification Conference begins. A compromise is proposed. Very well, we have a deal. Denounce the concessions. I... I this could lead to war with Japan, wait a minute. I hope they don't declare war. <laughs> I am also thinking that the Unification Conference did not work. And now our capital is in Beijing and we have also gained a core, I believe, yes. I guess we have to do unification by subjugation. Alliance just wanted to demand your submission, but if you want to declare war on me, okay. Good luck doing that with no troops on the border. <laughs> uh, let's see how this goes then. So, I've pushed them uh, a bit in. I could have maybe already capitulated them if I did not look away for one second and got in circle in Taiyuan. But whatever, I now have another problem down here. I will not hold this front line here. I'm gonna hold the mountains and the river line because it's just not possible to hold everything. Uh, meaning I'm gonna remove everything that ever existed here for supplies. Let's see how this goes. They just declared war. I'm, I'm, I deployed some units that may or may not help me win finally here. Please capitulate. Thank you. Thank you. Now I got more troops to spare, finally. That also gave us a lot of equipment, so I'm gonna pump out more troops that actually are a good help. Now it's time to push into Shandong. Let's see how this goes. Yep, and Yunnan fell. Let's try and get those troops encircled here. Oh, 12 divisions. Yep, that's that. And they are... that's a lot of casualties now. And I've captured Nanjing, which is great. Isn't like for a number of bad luck in Asian culture. I've just recaptured Wuhan, which is great. Those are the losses and I believe if I take Hangzhou and maybe some cities, they will capitulate. And that's enough. Okay. Well, goodbye, National Revolutionary Government. Let's see if I can quickly capitulate them by taking those two cities up here. It sure is. I will have a problem if they declare war on me while my army is not organized. Anyways, let's see how this goes. This is going to go poorly, but whatever. We've captured Guangzhou. That's great. Uh, let's kill those troops off here. I love having no supplies, it's so cool. If Nanning falls, they're probably gonna capitulate. Goodbye Guangzhou government. Now two more warlords to deal with. Will I get this? River crossing? Yes, that's great. 
Oh, I don't have manpower, I just noticed. That's great. I need that supply hub, so please be so kindly and give it to me. Thank you. Let's get rid of our backward industry. We split their country in half, and now we shall capture their capital. Yes. Goodbye, Yunnan. Click just one more to go. The final great push. Yeah. The Republic of China has been proclaimed. Let's give me the land and you shall become my puppet. An end of the century of humiliation. At last it is over. I also got East Turkestan as a puppet now. War it is then. I don't think I'm gonna be able to annex the puppets. Yep. Thank God. Uh, confirm annex it, I guess. So now to Japan. So let's do the focus I've been holding off to do for a long time now. The question of the presidency. Zhu Lin plans to step back. Long live the Grand Marshal. The Shikan click protests. Ineffectual differing. Ambush in Shenyang. He must live. The treacherous Shikan click try to assassinate our Grand Marshal. We shall retaliate. Japan is the true enemy. How could we trust them? Oh, there goes my trade. <laughs> and there goes unequal treaties. Let's first get rid of this, 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 and this. And maybe try pushing in there, I guess. Actually, yeah, let's just push and activate this makeshift bridge. Expel the Japanese bandits! Second Sino Japanese War. The question of the presidency is finished. Eliminate internal dissident. And that's those troops encircled up here. I've also captured the supply up here and I hope I don't lose it. I'm gonna wait till I get the supply up here. They have a lot of troops stacked in uh, Tsingdao. So let's see how much we can kill. Goodbye. They've also already suffered a lot of casualties because of me. I can also push here now. Uh, let's capture Pusan. And that should be a big problem for the Japanese then. Yep. And that's it. Now I just gotta wait 83 days. They lost 1 million troops to me. Yeah, I did not notice this. Yeah, ask for peace, I have no problem with that. <laughs> and that's the war done. <laughs> yeah. That's the war, and that's probably also gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching me play the Function government in Kaiserreich. I might bring out some more Kaiserreich videos, because Kaiserreich is my favorite mod. And uh, I've also been thinking about maybe streaming on Twitch, but I'm not sure about that yet. Whatever, I hope you like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and see you in the next video.